Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. If you are new, I do a lot of stationery, sticker, and planner things. I do hauls, I do plan with me's, all that good stuff. And so let's just kind of dive right in and I hope that you enjoy. So I have something different here. So let me go ahead and put the stickers and such away first, but I wanted to go ahead and share this with you. So this was gifted to me by Sharon of Bloom Paper Studio and her and her mother actually started a shop. I believe it is called Bloom and Lace. So definitely check that out. I will have that linked in the description box below but they sell these beautiful dried floral arrangements. They are stunning. I am incredibly obsessed and I really love this paper that they have it wrapped in. So I'm probably just gonna keep it like this. It looks awesome in my office, like on my dresser. So I love this, it's beautiful. So thank you again, Sharon. So here's a close up so you can see what you could get if you purchase from them. And she was really sweet and also included some stickers. So, it's just a really kind thank you note. So if you follow me on Instagram, I did share this. So this is the freebie that was included. This is in collaboration with Bloom Paper Studio and Bloom and & Lace. And it's gorgeous, rose gold, amazing quality. And I love these thick lace stickers here. You can totally cut them down the middle as well and make it like a trim versus a full lace divider. Absolutely stunning. Thank you so much again, Sharon. I really appreciate this very thoughtful gift and surprise. It was so, so beautiful. And also don't forget to use Rachel15 with Bloom Paper Studio to save and also mention me for my freebie. Okay, so this is from Jess of Panda Bird Design. She is one of my dear friends in this community and she just sent me some things that she is working on and I'm really excited to share them with you. They are absolutely stunning. I wanna see if I can make the brightness better. Here we go. So these are these like gorgeous scallop tabs and she also did some custom scripts. So she's just trying some things out and this is for my B6. I'm really excited to try this. It is so gorgeous and I love the color. It's even more beautiful in person. The one thing that we're going to discuss and kind of like review and test out, the purpose of her sending this to me was to actually review it and give her some feedback. So my biggest hiccup, I think these tabs might be a tad too small to fit scripts. So I'm just excited to see how it's gonna work out and we'll have to just wait and see. And then she is so amazing and she created this photo that I took for my Instagram and made it into a dashboard. I am so, so excited. So let's just actually go into this one first. I think I'm probably going to frame this just because I just absolutely adore this. Okay, so this was actually a custom that she did for me that I'm super stoked to share with you. So these were, or these are just in different sizes, but this was a photo I took for my Instagram and I am obsessed with this. It is so beautiful. I've been really enjoying taking like minimal, it's not really minimal because I think it's kind of busy sometimes, but I just like have been loving this whole aesthetic and I like taking photos like that and it's just kind of fun to have a variety on my Instagram account. So be sure to check that out, but she just included different sizes and some I'm gonna punch and put them in my planners and some I might actually like frame or probably take one to work. Not really sure, but it's just so beautiful. Love this, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and go into these tabs or the, yeah, tab dividers. All right, I think these might actually be the exact same, so I'm not gonna open that one, but it's really nice quality. I love this pink color. It's just so beautiful. And again, the tabs might be a bit small. So, oh, actually, no, I think that actually works out. I don't know if you can see, but I think that actually works out. Maybe depending on the word or the script, it might be too small, like passwords is quite long and it's gonna be hidden. So this is for a B6 size and I will definitely play around with it and let her know what my feedback is, but she did this gorgeous light gold font and, um, or sorry, foil, and this font is so, so dainty and gorgeous. So yeah, anyways, that was everything. And this like was a custom from Panda Bird Design. I'm really excited to see what else she comes out with in her shop, so stay tuned. Okay, so this shop is Sadie Stickers, and you all might know by now that I do PR for her, and <laughs> I was just super needy, and I asked her if she would actually include both Lauren and Tay's freebies, just because I usually just get my freebie because, you know, I place like PR orders and such, but 
I am so, so happy that she included them just because I want to kind of collect all of my freebies and I'm very close to Tay and Lauren. So I just wanted to go ahead and just have theirs as well. So absolutely beautiful. Tay's is in silver. This is so gorgeous. It's a beautiful size. And I think it might overlap the full, like the width of a column, but it's beautiful and you have some shapes. And then this is Lauren's. I adore Lauren's as well. And I really, really want to upgrade my freebie now just because like these are a lot of newer items from Sadie's shop. But here is my freebie and I still really love it. I actually have a ton of these to show you just because this was released as a $2 Tuesday. So really excited. But my code with her is Rachel20 and there are plenty of PR girls that you can put their name in the notes to seller and receive their freebies. Okay, so here is this first little batch here. Okay, so I wonder if these are mixed up. But anyways, I really loved this idea of like a heart bubble. I think it is so creative to mark whether or not you're on Instagram. And I really liked having it to mark plans change. And when I'm talking to friends on Instagram or liking things on Instagram, Instagram posts, anything social media related, I think it's very versatile. So these bubbles are kind of like a upgraded take on circle icons. That's just kind of how I see it, just because this little bubble just makes it a little bit more interesting versus just a standard circle icon. I hope that makes sense, but that's kind of where I was going when I was talking to Alicia about this and she released this for $2 Tuesday. And we just came up with a bunch of different ideas for bubbles, but love these. This is the message bubbles. This could be used to mark um, when you're chatting with friends or anything like that and catching up, I think that's a really cute and great idea. And then I really love these location bubbles to mark traveling, to mark appointments, like anything like that. I think it's really, really cute and awesome. Road trips and the size is really nice. I really love it. So let me actually find a plan with me that I used a ton of the bubbles. I did, this is, you guys, this is my favorite favorite monthly spread I've ever, ever done. It's Jackson Pepper, no surprise there, but it's purple and rose gold and I paired rose gold with it just because I think rose gold looks absolutely stunning with purple. But I used a lot of those heart bubbles here and I like the mix of like the all foiled versus the open and not foiled. So just wanted to share that with you. Okay, so I showed you the location ones. Here are the Instagram bubbles, which are adorable. Again, it could just, I just feel like it's so much more interesting than just a circle icon, just that little bubble piece right there. But yeah, so I got them, I think they were only available on white. I might be wrong, but I picked them up on white just because I like, I like icons on premium matte paper. And then I of course grabbed some more of the hearts. And then these are super cute. I think I'm missing one. I don't know. Um, I might be missing one here. Let me just open this stash here because it might be in here. <laughs> These are the notification bubbles and I have it in silver and rose gold. I might have not picked up the gold one by accident. And then here are the microphone bubbles. Oh, okay. So there's an extra gold microphone and I got this in all three classic foil colors. And I like this to just mark voiceovers, to mark editing, anything YouTube related, podcast. Those are really great as well. Okay, next are the play bubbles. This is perfect to mark watching YouTube, watching a live, anything related to social media. Again, a lot of these are very social media-esque, I guess. <laughs> and then I love and adore these thumbs ups. I think they are so cute to mark Facebook, Instagram when you're liking things or listening to a podcast that you're enjoying. I don't really know. It could be used for anything in my opinion because it's just really cool. YouTube videos. And then I adore these. Alicia was showing me the poop emoji and, or she said she wanted to do a poop bubble, which is really, really funny and cute as well. You could use this for anything, scooping poops. Um, I don't know, <laughs> just really cute and fun. And then here are the pause bubbles. Again, same concept with the play button. You can use this as well for anything social media. And then of course, Alicia had to do a bow, which is beautiful. This can be used for anything. And then the camera bubbles used to mark filming. All right, perfect. So those are the bubble icons and the bubble collection. And then here are the half midi or the midi boxes. And she did a $2 Tuesday where it was, I think it was these bubbles. And then she also did a midi like colored 
box collection as well as some florals, which was amazing. So those were the only non-foiled things from her, one of her recent $2 Tuesdays that she offered. So this is, <clears throat> excuse me. So this is the Rose Half Midi and these midi boxes are basically just like they sound. They do not take up the full width of the column and they ha she offers like a half box version and then here is like a third box version and then a quarter box version. So this is kind of all over the place. How did I do this? Okay, I'll just go through them one by one. So this is the half midi. So it's the same height as a half box, but all of them, all the midis do not take up the full width of the column. It just adds some white space and it just looks really clean and nice. Here is the clay colorway in the sampler. Love this colorway, so beautiful. Here is melon. So she had like a set of different colors or like different colorways and then I think I just selected which ones I felt like I would use the most. Here is blush, the midi sampler. I like the sampler. And then here's rose. So again, same concept. The quarter boxes have the, are the height of a quarter box and then height of a third box, but they're just not the full width. Here is nude. I love this one. I feel like I will get the most use out of that one. Here is rose. These are just the third boxes. So let me show you the first one. So this is the rose collection. And I think I picked up rose just because this is a colorway I feel like I would use, get the most use out, out of. She had like a spring collection or just like brighter colors and pastels, which I don't use very often. So here's the half midi, third midi. So you can see for size and then the quarter midi. All right, cool. And then I had to grab carnation. I got two of these just because this is a colorway I would totally use. I'm kind of kicking myself. I wish I grabbed the nude, like two of the nudes as well because I feel like this is a colorway I would get the most use out of as well. So now to the floral deco. I'm so excited. Floral is trending so much right now. So, <laughs> and two of my besties, Tay and Lauren, use floral all the time. So this is the Floral Deco 6 and I grabbed two. I love this, this is beautiful. I feel like I can pull this into spreads, especially when I have photo kits. It's really, really hard sometimes to decorate with floral because most photo kits don't offer floral. They offer like layering shapes and such or other deco that is not floral. So this kind of makes it softer in my opinion. So hopefully some of these floral sheets will match like any photo kits that I have. Here is Floral Deco 5. I like the mix of large, the greenery, smaller individual flowers. So, so beautiful. And then two of the Floral Deco 3. This is super summer and spring. It's so beautiful. And then Floral Deco 2, which I think is pretty neutral. So I'm excited to be trying, like to try to use this. And it's just really nice. And then Floral Deco 1. Perfect, so those are the deco sheets. I just wanted to grab two just because this is a quarter sheet and it's not as large and I'm pretty sure if I use one for an entire spread, I'll, I'll be out, you know? So I just wanted to have an extra. So this is everything from Sadie Stickers. This was a solid $2 Tuesday. And again, here are the freebies that I showed you earlier. Here's mine right here. And my code is Rachel20 to save 20% off. This shop is Crafts by Towie and my code with her is Rachel10 for 10% off of 25 or more. I wonder if my freebie's in here. I'm never prepared for this, guys. I apologize sincerely. I need to find my up-to-date freebie. So, okay, so here is my up-to-date freebie. And I believe Tao just pulls random foil colors, but this is what it looks like. And this was a $2 Tuesday. Or actually, I don't know. I think, yeah, this was her summer $2 Tuesday. But then I also wanted to stock up on other $2 Tuesday sheets. So, let me see. Yeah, so they're actually not $2. So here's the thing. So with Tao's shop, if she releases a set, like a volume of like these $2 Tuesday sheets, they will be $2 for that week that they're released. But she also will she is starting to keep all of her $2 Tuesdays in her shop permanently, but I think they retail for a little bit more than $2. So yeah, just if you're able, whoa, you guys, I am like throwing stickers. Um, <laughs> But if you're able to catch her new release volumes or when she puts them in the shop for that week, you can grab them for two bucks, but honestly, they're not that much more and I think they're still so worth it. And I appreciate that she's keeping them permanently because so many people are constantly asking for certain volumes. So really love that. Anyways, um, here are the freebies. This is beautiful. I love her freebies, they're so functional. And this is like a summer freebie. And then of course this latte cup, which I begged her to bring to the shop. And then here is the freebie. It says, you got this. I have a few of these and they're so stunning in my setup. 
Let me go ahead and go into the most recent $2 Tuesday, which is summer themed, and it's just so gorgeous and perfect. So here are the beach chairs. Not really sure when I'll be able to use these, but they are so gorgeous. I just, I don't know, I haven't been going out, you know, because of COVID, but they're just really nice and cute and fun. Even if you don't go to the beach, like if you sit outside or if you have a pool, that would be really cute. Here is the ice cream. You guys know I adore ice cream. <laughs> So the ice cream cone is so dainty and perfect. I love this icon. So pretty. I might have to grab this in black as well. And here are the bathing suits, which is super chic. And then I love this one in the middle here with the different like floral patterns. So, so pretty. I love the one piece. So pretty. And then here are the slippers or the flip-flops. Let me know, do you call them sandals, slippers, flip-flops, thongs? I'm not really sure. Everyone says and calls it something different depending on where you grew up or where you're from. So that's just really neat and I would love to know, super random. But yeah, <laughs> anyways, so here are the flip-flops. And then here is the summer sampler sheet. Love this. Ooh, I wanna grab the, did I forget to grab? Oh, okay. I think I might've forgotten to grab this lemonade jar. It's just so perfect and pretty. I might have to go back and grab that. So here's the entire sampler and just perfect. Okay, so these are the other sheets that I grabbed that were already permanently in her shop. She has a few volumes already up and I believe they retail for a little bit more than $2. But I recently purchased an Apple Watch, so I love this. I would love to use this to mark like closing my rings or just working out. Just really perfect, love that so much. And then these bicycles are a restock because we've been biking a lot and I've been going through these sheets like crazy. So these are the bicycles, they're so adorable, I love them. And I like that she's alternating her icons now. And then thank you so much Tao for putting these in your shop. I love these lattes. I think this was on her foodie sampler which is like a quarter sheet and I'm just obsessed with it. Just like look at the detail. It is so perfect and pretty and I love making lattes at home. So this is, this is just so good. I really like this. <laughs> so I'm glad she brought that to the shop. So thank you, thank you so much. I have to go back for that lemonade jar. But anyways, this is everything from Crafts by Towie. And again, my code and everything will be linked below. All right, so this shop is Jackson Pepper. My code with her is Rachel15 as well as my freebie. So she left such a cute note. She said that the tissue paper is not big enough. Um, but anyways, this is the packaging. I just wanted to share this with you. I've been holding off on opening this for a long, long time. So I think my invoice is in here. So give me one second. Okay, so I'm back. <laughs> I just took my invoice out really quickly and I like to reference it as well. So this is a massive package. Oh my gosh, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so let's go ahead and take everything out and I can't wait to share everything with you. So this is a huge happy mail. I am so excited. Oh, okay, I, I'm just so excited because I am obsessed. I've been really obsessed with like notepads lately. I've been going through them like crazy, especially at work. And I just like lists and they're just my thing. So anyways, this was my PR order. So I just wanna go ahead and go through some of the beautiful, beautiful kits. And you might see one that I just recently filmed and I'm obsessed with how this turned out. Let me find it so I can show you. Oh no, all right. So a ton of my stickers are falling out. So this is the spread that I did with this kit, but she revamped it. So this is her oldest format and I kind of made it my own by doing like layering and adding things to it, cutting out florals, which takes a lot of time, but I cannot wait to use this. I have a plan to use this in a monthly section. So we'll see how that goes, fingers crossed. And I'm just really excited because I love, love, this vintage florals kit so much. Let me go ahead and haul it for you. This is her reformatted one. And I still really enjoyed her old format, of course. I mean, I still used it and the spread turned out really pretty, but I just can't wait to show you her new format. So I wonder if this came with floral. <gasps> no, did this not come with a floral add-on? Oof. Um, I will have to ask Lena. If there was a floral add-on, I might have missed it completely. No, it might be in here. Okay, let me try to just take everything out. Because I almost got super sad. <laughs> okay, phew. All right, you guys, that was that was a close one. All right, so it looks like she just put the florals in, on a different, or in a different 
cello. But as you can see, the florals are gorgeous. I had to go back and just grab this strictly for the florals. If I don't end up using both, I will totally keep this for other spreads because the colors might match. And florals are just such a nice thing to have on hand. They're trending, like I said earlier. But this is the format. Let me go ahead and go through the format. Let's let's redo this. So here are the full boxes, some headers down here on Monday through Sunday. And this is in silver. All of her foiled kits, you can choose the foil color. So beautiful. I love this. I'm obsessed with her boxes that just have a little bit of confetti. And then this one's just empty. Really, really nice. You have some checklist flags. These are now headers versus little things. I think they're a little taller than a standard header size, but they still work as headers and I love them. The weekend banner, which is beautiful. I don't think I used it as a weekend banner. I think I cut it down the middle and I used it in my sidebar or something. And then you have all of your sidebar goodies. And then again, I got two of these floral deco pieces just because they're so good. I love the empty white space in the middle. You can use this as a box. I will probably cut this up, but I can't wait to try to use this in my monthly. It's gonna look absolutely stunning. All right, so the next kit I wanna go over is this kit, it's called Kindness. Kindness Counts. All right, let's see. So this is in rose gold and I got the matching deco as always. Um, I love her new reformatted kits just because the deco is so good. And here it's in rose gold. Tell me this is not beautiful, you guys. This is so beautiful. I love this. Oh my God, this is so pretty. I love these boxes, like all three of these. Oh, so good. Same format. And then this bottom washi is everything. You can use it either way, I think, but really, really pretty. And I love how neutral the day covers just with a little bit of greenery. This is even more beautiful in person, by the way. You should totally pick this up. Like it is so good. And then I love this. I just always adored how just in sync and like uniformed her kits are. Um, I feel like I like that everything is very similar so you can add your own stuff to it and not all the boxes are super busy. Of course, I feel like with some designs, some of the boxes can get busy with like a pattern so you can't really write on them. But like I said, my little trick to that I got from Lauren, I always just put a white box over it and write on the white box versus this and I would use it as like a background. But really nice, this weekend banner is stunning. And then again, tons of headers here, so gorgeous. And then, yeah, so that's it. What I like to do is I sometimes cut up the top border to make like a like a box, um, a divider. And then here are the deco pieces. So good. Like, look how, look how beautiful that is. I just can't handle it. I want like a whole insert or like a dashboard with that. It's just so, so pretty. This is stunning. I love the greens that she used. Lena is just so talented. I just love her eye for design. Anyways, this is called Kindness Counts. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Okay, this next kit is called Greek Isles and she does have like this travel themed like set of kits that she does and it's really cool. So she had like a Amsterdam one, an Italy one, and then here are the Greek Isles. I adore these little stamps and they're just so cute. I actually put them in my setup. This is so beautiful. Oh, also here's the freebie with her shop. I love this. I might actually change up my freebie with her shop because I love these kinds of things now and I wanna to talk to her about that. So that might be coming. And this is in light gold or just, her gold honestly is very light gold. And here are the like foiled accents and add-ons. I love this, so pretty. And then here are the full boxes, a photo kit. She does some of the best photo kits. They're just stunning. And then here's the bottom washi. Really, really pretty. So same format. Oops, that's these are both upside down. This blue is so pretty. Let me see if I can, does this help? I don't know if that helps. And then here is the last page. Okay, so this is of course a photo kit, so there are no like deco pieces, but really love that, so pretty. And then here's another photo kit. It's called um, Manifesting. And this is in gold as well. If you prefer light gold, I think she has a really great gold. I don't think it's super light gold. Like some light gold is very ivory. Like it's, it almost kind of looks rose gold to me in some like lighting. But I will say that her light gold is like the perfect or her gold is like the perfect light gold in my opinion. And yeah, so really, really pretty. Oh, these dark colors are 
breathtaking. This green, you guys know, is me, written all over it. And I love her headers because she has just like a simple solid color and then she has like a like a background pattern, which is so subtle and I love these kinds of headers. And then here you have the beautiful full boxes. I love this so much, this is so pretty. It's even more beautiful in person, guys, I promise. And here's the simple bottom washi, which is beautiful. When I say I've been obsessed with Jackson Pepper since like I first joined this community, I am not joking. Like this is amazing to me that I am sharing her stuff with you all and I PR for her. I'm just so, so happy and pleased because her stuff is just getting better and better. And I love these boxes like here. So her boxes can be busy like this. It's kind of more like a photo and a scene, like a work of art. But I find that I can just use a box over it or like a frame box, a fancy box and just layer it over it and have this be the background. I just feel like I have so much fun using her kits and it allows me to be super creative. And look at that foiled, like the foiled accents in line. That is so pretty. That is so gorgeous. That's wow. <laughs> I'm so speechless. Okay. So this kit is called Manifesting and it's so, so beautiful. All right, so I also wanted to grab some transparent dots some more just because I have been going through these so fast and I love these in my minimal planners and I just sometimes will cut them halfway. Now that I have a pocket, I'll probably cut this down the middle and just put it in my pocket, but I grabbed a few neutral colorways. So here you have, literally it's called neutral or oh, they're all called neutral, yeah. Oh, that's the collection they're from. So these four are from the neutral line. And then this is from the spring line. So it's just a little bit more like pink or peachy kind of. You guys know I don't know my colors. <laughs> All right. So here are the little bow stickers. I love these so much. I love the size. They're so good and so perfect for my smaller planners. And even just in like the seven by nine, I just like how small they are. She does sell them like as larger bows, but I love the small. And then now to the gorgeous notepads. I was very excited when Lena said she sent these over to me. I cannot believe she sent all of them to me, but these are so beautiful. Here's one of the notepads, so pretty. And let me see the sizing. I wanna show you guys the seven by nine planner so you can see this for sizing. So there it is. That's the size for all of them. Okay, I just almost knocked down my studio lights. That is not good. All right, so here, this is beautiful. I love this plaid with the hearts. That's just so cute. And then love these minimal ones. Like this one is just white. It says today's intention, tasks, and notes. Jackson Pepper, love that. And then there's a section for a date. This is so, so clean. I'm, I'm living for it. And then here, you have this green and pink. So pretty. And I love the font that she used for today. Super beautiful. Let me know if you picked up any of these notepads and I know exactly where this clip art is from. It's so beautiful. She did a monthly, I think. Yeah, I think she did a monthly and it's just so stunning. So here are the neutrals. I am so excited. So these are the today's intentions. Let me grab the white one. All right, so here you have all of them. So you have the ones with just the squares to like check off and then here you have the lines with just like numbers and then instead of um, like a square, you just have like the grid or the lines. I don't know what to call that, but really, really nice. I love these colors. They're so neutral, so perfect. And just like my, my style. So thank you so much for throwing these in. Lena, I really appreciate it. Make sure to check her out. And I do have an updated freebie with her. I don't have it on hand, but be sure to use Rachel15 for 15% 15 off and mention my name for my freebie. The shop is Saucy Stickers Co. And I do have a code with her as well. It's Rachel15 for 15% 15 off. And Rebecca was really sweet and just sent this over because she wanted to send me all of the freebies from for all of the other PR girls. All right, so I'm really excited. All right, so here are all of the freebies for all of the PR girls. And they are so beautiful. I love their freebies. Here's Heather's. It's on transparent paper, just so good. I love the colors that she chose for her freebie. And then here's Katie's freebie, super cute as well. Really perfect for summer, I adore this. So thanks for including two. And then here is Eliza's, so pretty, perfect. Suits her very much. This is on white matte paper and it's purple. And then here's mine on matte paper and just has a lot of greens. 
<laughs> so love this so, so much. And yeah, those are all of the freebies and the PR girls. Here are the deco sheets that I picked up. I love these so much and they're so, so cute. I can't wait to use these in my journal. And I just love the colorways. I love this like mustard yellow, so pretty. And these circles are everything. Here is Mystical Spring. Oh, sorry. This this one is called, oh, okay. They're both called Mystical Spring. Love this. This is so pretty. The mountains are so pretty. And then here, Stay Cozy. This was on my freebie. A lot of these are on my freebie. And this is just perfect. I love the like retro vibe. And then here's the house plants. A lot of these are on my freebie as well. Her colors are so vibrant. I love them. And of course, they're really, they're a lot bigger for a 7x9, like what I would normally use, but I wanted these specifically for my journaling spreads. And then here's the Lazy Day one, which is so, so pretty. I love this. Like, that's so cute. Okay. So that's Lazy Day. All right. So that is everything from Saucy Stickers Co. Again, don't forget to mention any of our names to receive our freebies. Sorry, I almost dropped all of them, but <laughs> here they are. And my code is Rachel15. The shop is Chic Chic Designs and she's based out of India. I'm really happy that she's able to start mailing out stuff again. So this is my order with her and I do have a code with her shop too. It's Rachel15. All right. So let me grab this. Oops. All right. So I'm excited to see what kind of paper she has now. So I think the paper that she has, if you, it was probably from like a super old haul, but I think this is kind of, it looks like glossy, but it's not. And it's a type of vinyl paper, but I've written on it before and it doesn't smudge. So I was very impressed by that. And the color looks really, really great. I don't see any streaks. It's just, it looks really nice. So let me go ahead and show you. These are the date circles she included and her black is super rich. I love her date circles. They're so, so good. And I just love the size and the style. So here are the headers. I don't know the name of this kit off the top of my head, so I do apologize, but she did recently change her format, which includes this gorgeous deco piece right here, or this deco page. So here are your full boxes. So stunning. You get nine, and then you get some labels down there. And then I think it's pretty like transparent, so I'm gonna try to show it to you like one sheet at a time. So here you have the bottom washi, sorry, it's upside down. And then your day covers and your sidebar tracker. And here you have all of your boxes. I love these boxes that she's included. Some long flags, corner scallops. And then here you have all of your functional things like your sidebar trackers, tons of quarter boxes down the middle, some scallops that you can use to layer with that would be really beautiful. I've been really enjoying layering like scallops like this with my mandalas and doilies and florals they are just really nice. And you have some word headers here. And then again, lastly, you have this beautiful page with all the florals. I love and adore this page of all the florals. There are so many. And they're such a great size as well. And here you have some icons and you have some washi strips. So that's her newest format, I believe. And it's a pretty full kit. And so here, this is another kit. I, again, don't know the name of these kits, so I do apologize. So here are the headers and here are the full boxes. This is something that I would not normally gravitate towards just because of the purples, but it is so pretty. And I've been really like impressing myself with how much I've been liking purple spreads lately. I will probably keep the girl full box out and use all of the other full boxes because they're beautiful. Like this one is my favorite. It is so, so good. All right, so here is the bottom washi and day covers. And then here you have all of your boxes. I adore these frame boxes down here. You get so many boxes. I wish there were just more third boxes. I would love that. And then here you have tons of quarter boxes. And my favorite kind of quarter boxes are the ones that are just like a frame, not the ones that are kind of like a label. And here are the deco pieces. Again, so good. The printing is so vibrant and just really, really nice. And yeah, I'm not sure if she's offering foil, but um, definitely check her out. This is Chic Chic Designs. And again, my code is Rachel15. 